European stocks are modestly high this Thursday on the day that both Yellen and Draghi arrive at the Jackson Hole meeting. Let's have a look at those numbers then because we've got them gaining as you can see just there around half a percent here in London and Germany just a third there in France. Well, talking about those numbers, Dixon's car phone is one of the biggest fallers today after publishing a profits warning amid a tough mobile phone market. And lower earnings as well were also in this report from its software division. And at the top is Provident Financial. It's recovering after a stunning crash following a profit warning earlier on this week. It, we saw their share price absolutely plummet in response to that. Now, let's talk about some of the data that came out today. I'll just get up sterling as well maybe we can have a look at that at some point. Um, now, the situation is that we had data from the Confederation of British Industry. It showed that UK retail sales declined in the year to August. Well, according to the latest reading, UK retail sales are at their weakest since July last year. Another sign that higher inflation is squeezing consumers' pockets here in Britain. But UK GDP growth in the second quarter of this year has been confirmed at 0.3%. That's a slight pickup from the 0.2% in the first quarter. The services sector was the main driver of growth, which posted an improvement of 0.5% on the quarter. The Office for National Statistics said that while the government spending and investment remained strong, there was a slowdown in growth in both household spending and business investment. Well, the pound has retreated slightly following those figures and it's now pretty much flat against the dollar. Moving on then, on Friday, there's German numbers to look out for. We've got the GFK Consumer Confidence Report. We've got the Business Climate Index. Just want to mention, of course, this week we had the ZEW report coming out from Germany, and that was a disappointment. Um, so, you know, we've got to be on guard for that. Then we've got France's Consumer Confidence Report. Um, that is expected to drop a fraction. Finally, we look at the US data. We've got the Durable Goods Orders. That is an important number in terms of trading in the US dollar and the US indices. Um, expected to fall 2% overall. And we've also got the Baker Hughes oil rig count, which reported last week that the number of active US rigs uh, for oil fell by five to 763. Um, in the corporate world, there's just a computer center here in the UK. And that is it. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm going on holiday. But I will be back next week. So see you then. Goodbye.